Right, you know, we barely got above freezing up here in Bellingham today, and this brisk wind isn't helping either. And that means that restaurants are getting frozen out of desperately needed dollars. As you can see, a lot of them didn't even bother to set up their tables and chairs today. Valentine's Day weekend is usually a big one for local restaurants, but hit with freezing temperatures and limited to outdoor seating, couples looking to rekindle the flame in their relationships are having to redefine what it means to have a hot date. So is this the romantic Valentine's Day you were hoping for? Yeah, this one's there. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got thermal pants on, I've got a thermal top on, it's like being up at the mountain, but in town. Those folks are the exception. Outdoor seating areas all across downtown Bellingham sit empty, with winds making it unappetizing to eat out. At Bellingham's Camper Cafe, temperatures in the 20s have profits hovering around zero. The combination of cold weather and nowhere to get warm is having a chilling effect on business. General Manager Gloria Baldwin says this has been the worst week of the year by far. We don't really break even any, any day that we're open. We're kind of just struggling through that. Uh, day to day. While bad for business, the plunging temperatures can be dangerous for the homeless. Dozens remain in this camp at the city's Civic Athletic Complex. Police say one person was hurt here yesterday when a propane tank exploded from people trying to light fires to stay warm. Across town at the base camp homeless shelter, about 40 more people have come looking to get out of the elements. The shelter is now seeing about 165 people stay here every night. Executive Director Hans Erchinger Davis says in some cases, seeking help in the wintertime is a matter of life and death. We encourage people to come in. We discourage camping out in this weather because some folks just don't wake up in the night. Back at Camber, insult to injury as someone cut through this steel cage and stole two propane tanks for the cafe's heaters. Cold reality hitting hard. It's another one of those costs too, you know, that we have to take a hit on and um, we'll most likely have to replace our cage and then find out a way to reinforce it, which is also more money. An estimated 200 people will be sleeping outdoors or in their cars across Whatcom County tonight. The city of Bellingham has set up a warming place that will be open at 24 hours a day through next Tuesday. Live in Bellingham, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.